So it's March 16th, schools are shutting down, flights are getting canceled, people are self-isolating, people are rushing the markets. Um, here in Los Angeles, bars, restaurants, gyms are getting shut down for the foreseeable future. Um, and it's a really scary time. And it's, it's a really scary time, not just because of uh, the obvious, the health concerns for our friends and family and, and loved ones, but it's also a scary time for business owners and freelancers like myself. However, I don't think it's all doom and gloom. I, I have a little different perspective on this and I'll tell you all about it, but first, coffee. So I've been on the phone for the last few days with some freelance friends of mine and we've just been kind of trying to figure out how we run our businesses in the, in the coming weeks and months um, and figure out where this is gonna leave us with our clients and, pro and ongoing projects that we have. And I think we all came to the same consensus is that most of our jobs for March are canceling and most of our marches are looking pretty empty and most of us are freaking out. I think it's important for us freelancers to be able to understand that the nature of freelancing is up and down. But the reason for making this video is the consensus that we all came to was that the best thing for us to do is to turn this into a positive. Now, I, it sounds like corny advice, but really is the best thing that you can do if you had all your jobs cancel is to literally start knocking things off the list. Start working on projects that you've been passionate about that you haven't had the time to work on. Rebuilding your portfolio, redoing your reel, redoing your website, reworking out your mailers and any other marketing materials you use throughout the year. Get yourself set up for the next six months so when the work does come, and it will come again, you're ready to take it on and there's nothing on your to-do list to worry about besides creating good work. Aside from getting your, your business prepared and taking care of your to-do list, I think it's just mentally healthy to be able to continue to have a routine for yourself. So even if it's not going out and doing photo shoots on location, I think it's important to create things at home. Even if it's hopping on YouTube and learning a new lighting technique, I think being productive and setting a schedule for yourself uh, is massively important when you don't have actual paid work. All right, that's all I got for you. So I hope you guys stay healthy, uh, keep creating, and I will make some more videos for you. See ya, bye.